Hey Canucks fans, Elias Pettersson had five points plus the shootout winner to lead the Vancouver Canucks past the Seattle Kraken six to five. Let's break it all down. I am Canuck Clay. This is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary, one of my very few rare post game reviews for this season. And I can do it right now because I'm in a hotel room in Anaheim. My kids are still at Disneyland. Gail and I took a, a quieter night ate some Chick-fil-A, watched the Canucks game, and I can break it all down here before I go pick them up. So what a night. Actually, uh, it's weird. I haven't vlogged for about almost an entire week, and now I've done two vlogs in one day. And earlier, if you watched this afternoon's vlog, I talked about, well, I talked about why my voice is gone, but I also talked about the fact that this Canucks season has been basically analogous to a roller coaster. Ups and downs, highs and lows, thrilling moments, sudden drops, and this game was a perfect, perfect representation of that. Let's go through the goals, and then I'll talk about a couple things that stood out to me. So I did not watch the first period. We were still getting home from Disneyland, so I did not watch the first, but I did indeed um, was able to catch up on the highlights, and I realized that it was, there's only two goals in the first. The first goal was not great. It was Jared McCann from outside of the Canucks blue line. Obviously, the way uh, John and John explained it on Sportsnet, Martin was expecting a shoot-in, a ring around the boards, and, and McCann may, may have even faked that way or showed that way, but instead put it on net, put it at far post. Not doesn't matter what Martin was thinking. It was not a great goal, and it looked like it was going to be one of those types of nights. But uh, to their credit, the Canucks came back about three minutes until, before the end of the period, and tonight's best line by far, Pedersen, Peterson, and Kuzmenko, a nice three-way passing play. Kuzmenko, a tip pass to Pedersen in the neutral zone. And Pedersen, you're going to hear me say this a few times, showing such vision, such great hands. Throws it across to Pedersen, no mistake. 1-1 one, one, heading into the first intermission. Then Seattle starts strong, scoring two goals in 10 seconds. The first one was Oliver Borkstrand off a horrible blind pass by Connor Garland. It goes the other way, 2-1, on one, and Borkstrom scores. And then 10 seconds later, off. I don't know how it happened 10 seconds later because it was off a, an offensive zone face-off. So something must have happened quickly after the, the center face-off, offensive zone face-off. Seattle wins it back to the point. Larson shoots it, Sprong tips it. Besser doesn't tie Sprong up. And now, just three minutes into the second, we're down 3-1. Uh, I, I can only imagine what it was like, the few fans that made it out to the arena tonight and braved the snow to, to be witnessing that and thinking maybe, here we go again on our way to a third straight 5-1 loss. But Petey made sure that didn't happen because at the eight-minute mark, so about four and a half minutes later, he scores a beautiful deflection. And the crazy thing is, if you watch the replay, he didn't even deflect it with the blade. He actually deflected it with the shaft of the stick, and it goes past Martin Jones, 3-2. And then five minutes, we think we're okay. But then five minutes later, Wenberg scores his second of the night. No, his first of the night, excuse me. It was Wenberg. It was Strong who had two. So Wenberg scores. And this one, I'm just trying to think, oh, yes, this one was kind of some poor defensive play by by the uh, all five Canucks. And maybe Martin playing a little over aggressive was out of his crease. And a nice pass from Borkstrom to Wenberg. Martin out of position, sliding pass, and Wenberg puts it in 4-2. So Canucks are down two, heading into the third. Then at the start of the third, Kuzmenko, five minutes in, really, really nice play by him from Pedersen and Peterson. He was basically where he likes to be at the side of the net. Pedersen across to Peterson. I love saying that. Peterson then find Kuzmenko, finds Kuzmenko on in his office basically uh, beside the crease. Took two shot, two attempts, but puts it behind Martin Jones. Now it's 4-3, and then we think we have a game. But then, just a minute later, Sprong scores. This is the guy who scored two tonight. Sprong scores his second of the game, and this could have been a backbreaker. A horrible, 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 horrible giveaway by Tyler Myers. Just brutal. Gives it up, up the middle. It comes a quick two-on-one, Tanev and Sprong. And then Sprong puts it in. And now Seattle's up 5-3 to three with 14 minutes left. And I, I wouldn't say I thought the Canucks were going to lose then. But against a, a team that in Seattle that's been quite strong defensively this season, maybe, just maybe, might be too tall of a tail or too tall of a, a task for the Canucks. But the Canucks, that's sometimes when they're at their best, 
Besser scores on power play goal, a really nice tip in. Hughes to PD. PD finds Besser, tips it in on the goal crease. So Kuzmenko's goal, Peterson's goal, and Besser's goal, all from the, actually, and PD's goal, actually, four of the five goals now that I think about it, were from either tips right in the crease or one timers. So kind of going to the dirty areas to score. So Besser ties it up, uh, so makes it 5 4. And then with the goalie pulled, Boudreau pulled Martin with about two and a half minutes left with about a minute 20. So this wasn't even a power play. So it was a six on five, a typical empty net situation. It, and just before this goal, PD actually made a really nice defensive play, forcing the puck from, I think it was Everly, making him miss the net, but then uh, the empty net. But then PD comes back across ice pass from Miller, and then PD puts it in. And now it's 5 5. That's PD's fifth goal, a uh, fifth point of the game, two goals and three assists. We get to overtime and the Canucks dominated overtime from a standpoint of they hit two, two posts and one crossbar. So Seattle actually outshot Vancouver 2-1 in overtime, but then you, you count the, the three posts and crossbars and then the Canucks definitely had a much, uh, much better chance of ending the game. And then in the shootout, Spencer Martin didn't go perfect, but he was as good as he needed to be. He, uh, he stops. Who does he stop? He stopped uh, Ryan Donato. He tried to go five hole. Then Kuzmenko got stopped by Jones' glove. Daniel Sprong gets stopped by Jones. I can't remember what he tried to do. JT Miller then scores which on a really nice goal, uh, beating Martin Jones on the glove side. Then Everly scores and gets it underneath Martin's right arm. But then PD with a beautiful deke. So much confidence. And how could you not have confidence after the game he played? And he puts it underneath Jones after gaining a bite on one of his dekes. So the Canucks win 6-5. It's crazy. The Canucks either lose in like kind of really boring 5-1 games at home or they win exciting 7-6 matches, 6-5 matches, and, uh, and they, send the home, they send the fans home happy tonight. The most happy, I'm sure, aside from all Canucks fans, to have them in the lineup was Elias Pettersson. Five points, and if you could get a point for shootout goals, he'd have six points on the night. Two goals, three assists. That entire line was great. So then Petey missed a couple games, and you could tell the Canucks scored a total of two goals in those two games. Petey with two and three, plus four, five shots on goal, and a hit, and a very, very strong game for Petey. Only 25% in the face-off circle, but that's not that's not his bread and butter. So five points for Petey. Andre Kuzmenko gets one and two, so three points. And Lane Peterson has one and one for two. So the three line mates combined for 10 points tonight an awesome showing by them and pd is so uh, i i tweeted from my hotel room i said two observations from this game number one the canucks have the uncanny ability to make uh, the most simple breakout play from their from the defensive end uh, to make they make it the most complicated thing in the world and number two pd is awesome pay him what he wants so two goals three assists five points for pd like i said kuzmenko three peterson at two and a couple only a couple other forwards had one point and that was besser and Miller because there weren't any other points to go around. So the the Horvat Garland line, uh, McKay line didn't do anything points wise, and they're quite bad defensively actually. And Lazar, Aman, and and um, Dries uh, also held off the score sheet. Also noticeable, Aman, Joshua, McKay all minus twos, and Garland was a minus three. Garland did not have a good game tonight. On the defensive end, only Shen and Hughes got points assists each. Uh, Hughes was a minus two, but then you look and look at Luke Shen's stat line. You gotta love this guy. Eight hits and four blocks um, in 20 minutes of ice time. Spencer Martin makes 31 saves on 36 shots. Not the best save percentage, 861, but he does indeed pull out the win. So a couple of team stats: shots and goal, 37-36 Vancouver. Faceoffs were split. Canucks kill off the only one Seattle power play, which is good, and they score in one of their own, one of three. And then Canucks actually outshot and outblocked, sorry, outhit and outblocked Seattle as well. So Seattle had the lead for the longer times. They were up 3 1. They were also up 5 3. So Canucks really didn't lead this game actually until they won. So basically, they didn't lead in this game. Yeah, they, they fell behind 1 1. They fell behind 3 1. They, sorry, they fell behind 1 0. They fell behind 3 1. And they held, fell behind 5 3. So they do come back from two, two goal deficits. Usually it's what the other team does to us, but we did it tonight, and it feels really, really good. Actually, now that I say that, I, my apologies. They did not. Uh, oh yeah, they it went one one, then three one, and then four two. Sorry, three one, 
four two and five three. So let me get that right. One the Canucks were down one nothing, so one goal lead. They were down three one, so a two goal lead. Then they were down four two, and they were down five three. So they were actually down two goals three times in this game, which is pretty crazy. I didn't even give the Canucks enough credit. Maybe maybe it's a bad thing that they keep falling down behind two goals, or maybe it's a great thing that they they came back all three of those times. You can tell I'm on vacation mode, I'm a little rusty, but I did want to jump on here and say what a great game by PD. Spencer Martin came up big when they, he needed to, and uh, great to see Lane Peterson have a great game. And we'll see now. The Canucks go back to back, so they go play in Edmonton tomorrow against a, a very good Edmonton team, or at least a team that's in Edmonton that's improving the standings. The Canucks needed this win. I said in my blog earlier today, all the teams they're fighting with, Calgary, Edmonton, St. Louis, Nashville, all picking up points in the standings. So it was vital that the Canucks won tonight. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But for tonight, let's enjoy tonight's game. Tell me what stood out to you in tonight's game. Leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to read, react, and reply. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform, Transform, Personal Training, Weight, uh, weight Loss. And thank you, Legendary Lucas Gates, Legendary Justin Credible, Legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members as well. Got th two more days here in LA before I come home on Christmas Day. I hope to check in with at least one, if not two more vlogs before then. But in the meantime, subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to, become a member, upgrade your membership, leave a donation if you'd like to, and definitely leave a comment down below if you'd like to, your thoughts on today's game. And I haven't done this in so long, you can do it in what I liked, what I didn't like, and one other thing, today was easy, what I liked, PD, what I didn't like, the fact that we went down three times by two goal deficits and Myers giveaway, and one other thing, um, man, whatever PD wants next summer, pay the man. That's all I got to say. Okay, friends, stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great night. God bless and go Canucks go.